Hello. Hello, hello. Gather up our stuff. See how this video is. See if you guys need to be able to see everything. We need to adjust that a little bit. Let's see what we got going on here. Mm, probably there is probably good. Hello and welcome. Happy Father's Day, really, to all of the fathers, all of the, the mothers that play the father role. Um, so much to honor. I'm very blessed. I have a bonus dad, so um, I just feel super stoked. I got it. I got the gift. I got the dad that chose to love me, not the one that had to. So that's how I choose to look at it now. Let me just check a couple things here. And we'll start seated. Um, probably going to bounce back and forth between on the mat and back there on my little couch warm up a little bit and close all these little windows that pop up. So for my local friends, anybody in the North County San Diego area, um, I'm going to be doing a chair yoga in um, Vista. Uh, that's off of uh, East Vista Way. Saturday morning, um, 8 a.m., so same time, just a day earlier. So if you're local and you want to join me um, in the real, <laughs> in person, come out and, um, you know, pop in there that you want more information. I think I've shared it to this group. I'll share it again. It's sponsored through the Phoenix group, so that's going to be all in the chair. You know, really, I'll feel it out. I'll feel out the room, so we'll see what we got. Um, if we have a bunch of yogis, then we'll use the chair as a prop. If we have a bunch of newbies, then we'll be seated in the chair. And really, I have no idea. It's so exciting. So um, thank you for being part of my journey with me. And I think I got all these windows closed. Looks like I'm live. I haven't gotten bumped off. I'm like so nervous now after a couple weeks where it just kept kicking me off. Give you one more little window. Come on, baby. Thank you for your patience. Grab all your props. Grab your water. Grab your mat. Get your stuff. On that, grab my water. I'm just soaking up the sun. I'm sorry. It feels so darn good. Mmm. Good morning, good afternoon, good day. I know my Midwesterners and East Coasters, you're already halfway through your day. So let's get going. Let's get some movement going. Happy Father's Day, everybody. I want to make sure I get done with this so that I can whip up some potatoes and other goodness for, for the man of the house because he deserves to be honored as well. All right. Let's go ahead and get going in our practice. Um, seated wherever you find your seat. Mm, start with some, just some shoulder rolls and some arm stretches first. 
So centering into your breath. Just find that rhythm. And as we come into our next breath, let's go ahead and send our right hand out like we're going to give a high five. Hey, friend. High five. Stretch it out. And then grab those fingers on the top and just pull them back towards yourself. Let's relax and release those shoulders. And then switch it on out. Give me a high five with that left hand. Grab those fingertips with the right and just gently pull them back, opening them up, relaxing your shoulder down your back. I'm going to drop those arms and let's send our hands out to the side. Inhale, push them out. Opposite directions for reaching in opposite directions. On that exhale, micro bend, relax those shoulders. Relax your back. Let's bring our fingers in one at a time. Bring that pinky in. We'll go from pinky towards thumb. The tiny fingers working our way in. Grab that thumb all the way around the end. Let's just do some wrist stretches. Just move them up and down. And then let's switch our hands. Just tilt them up so that your thumb is facing the top here. And we're going to push out like we're going to pour pitchers of water. It's really going to stretch all the way up through your wrist into that shoulder. Relax the neck and drop and release. Go ahead and shake it out. I like to do some wrist rolls. Roll those shoulders a little bit and let's get grounded again. You might have shifted a little bit. Our grounding, no matter where we're at, we can find those sits bones. So in my seat, I had to adjust myself a little bit. So do that and just kind of, you know, tip the hips a little bit, rotate back and forth. You'll feel those sits bones. They're different than sitting on your bum. So grounding down into our sits bones, let's add in some sun breath now that we opened up our shoulders and our arms a little bit. So you can take your arms out wide. You can bring them out in front of you whatever your comfort level is. I think we'll start in the front and then we'll do cactus and then we'll go out to the sides. That way we just kind of show everything. So inhale, bring the arms out in front of you. So just inhale, arms come straight out in front of you. And then when we get about midway, let's cactus those arms out. We're gonna look like a cactus. Oh, we're halfway up. And just hold here, really opening the chest. And if it's accessible to you, let's send those arms straight up. So inhale, push those arms up, reaching towards the sky. And reach up towards your, or look up towards your hands. And exhale, relax, bring those hands to heart center, bringing your palms together. Let's bring in an intention. What's something that you want to get out of your practice today? What are you looking for? Breathe into that and we'll take our arms. We can go back that way or we can go out to the sides wide. Inhale, I'm going out. Inhale, take the arms out wide. Reaching, looking up. Palms kiss. Exhale, bring them down to heart center. Let's do that again, whichever way you're going. Inhaling, arms come wide. The gaze comes up, hands to heart center, coming back to that intention. This next time, we're going to move some movement in. We'll do our half fold. So inhale one more time, really reach, stretch, opening up the shoulders and the heart and the breath. Bring those hands right on down to the center. We're going to find our way down to our thighs. Bringing my hands down to my thighs. I'm just going to chill here for a minute. Down on my shoulders. Down on my elbows. Moving my shoulders forward. Extending the length with my head. And just hanging out here for a breath. 
And then let's find our way back to that grounding center position. We'll continue adding on. Inhale, arms come up. Find your way to that intention, hands to heart center. Let's go down here. So bring the hands. You can stop right there at the thighs if you want. Maybe you stop right here at the thighs and you just relax the head and relax the chest right into that. Just drop and release yourself here. Great time for that prop. As we gently extend forward, reaching, looking for that length. Maybe you're up here with your elbows. Just reaching forward, relaxing, and coming back up to that center again. Shake it out. I'm adding a little neck roll. I didn't realize how tight I was. Let's do that one more time. We'll go all the way down. Inhale, arms come up, extended. Looking up, hands come to kiss. Bring them on down to that intention. I'm going all the way down this time. I'm going to use my legs as a guide and just fold on into myself. Oh, I open my legs way up too. I, I'm now really open at my knees as well. Dropping and relaxing and releasing. Letting everything go here in that forward fold. Inhaling up. I'm using my block to push myself up. You can also use your shins. And just find your way to that extended. And relax and release. Let's go back into that full fold. Forward fold. Drop it all the way down. Relax everything out. Inhaling. Coming up to that center position. Slowly using your body to pull yourself back up. Take a minute here. Sometimes it takes a second to recenter. So much gravity change. We're going to add in a seated downward dog. So, so cool. Inhale, arms come up. Going into that extended, extended mountain pose, seated mountain. Exhale, find your way down into that forward fold. So going all the way down again. Inhale, halfway lift. Find your way back up. Just gonna really use my shins and my knees. And then from here, I'm gonna lift up and I'm gonna extend my arms straight up out past my ears. So I'm reaching like that extended mountain pose, but I'm bended and seated forward, really activating the core. That's our seated downward dog. Relax the shoulders and release back to your mountain. Seated, grounded. I'm slipping off the edge. <laughs> Don't slip off the edge. Make sure you've got a nice stable seat here. All right, let's add some side movements in here. So let's add some stretch and some twists. Go ahead and plant that right hand. Bring the left hand straight up. Inhale, up. On the exhale, relax and release and send your way over to the right. So now we're just stretching and opening that left side. Relax the right shoulder down. And on that next inhale, find your way back to center. Drop that left hand. Maybe add your shoulder rub, shoulder roll there. And plant that left hand. Bring the right hand straight up. Inhale. And on the exhale, find your stretch. Stretching over to the right. Opening up the ribs, opening up the hips, feeling it all the way through the right side, and exhale, relax and release, find your way back down into center. Roll out the neck, roll out the shoulders, we're going into a twist. So we're going to twist by planting the right hand either at the side or behind you. We're going to bring that left hand over to the right knee, inhale. Looking for a straight back, lengthen the back here. Inhale, opening up. Exhale, allow the breath to be the twist. I like to look behind my shoulder, so I'm looking behind my right. 
exhaling out, wringing out anything that doesn't serve the rest of this beautiful day today. Let's find our way back to center. Gently release, untwist yourself, shake it out. Going to the other side, bringing the left hand behind you, right hand comes to left knee. Inhale, open up the shoulders. Find that length in the back. And then exhale, allow that twist. And the breath to be the stretch. Find our way back to center. Let's bring in another sun salutation here. Inhale, arms come up, reach up. This time, let's go into that downward dog. So find your hands right about heart center. Send them forward. Hinge at the hips. Reaching with your arms forward, lengthening, dropping the shoulders. Hinge here for a minute. Relax and release. Come back down to center. And let's go into our forward fold. Inhale, arms come up. Gaze comes up. Hands to heart center. We're going to go all the way down or wherever you're at. Maybe you're stopping at the knees. Maybe you stop here. I'm going all the way down. I'm going to just drop my head, drop my shoulders, and kind of ragdoll. Holding into myself. And then inhaling, using my shins to kind of push myself forward. Finding that length. Exhaling all the way down, and then I'm going to roll my spine. That's what feels good to me today, rolling my way back up to that seated neutral position again. All right, should feel nice and good and open on the top here. Let's add some legs. Let's add the bottom half. So stretch those legs out. We'll go into our staff position. Just bring them straight in front of you. And let's just point and flex the toes. So flex and point your toes, opening up those ankles. Maybe I give them a little roll. And let's bring those knees in. So just lift up your knee a little bit. Get that hinge going. You play with it a little bit. I love to kick my little legs out. They're so fun. They're funny. <laughs> All right, sitting down, grounding down. Let's go into a little pigeon. This is a great opener. So to lift up your right foot, bring it up to your left knee. And we're just going to open up this area here. Might need to resettle. Make sure you're good and stable here. And just allow gravity to pull your knee, your right knee, down towards the ground. If you have knee injuries, this is not going to feel good. Don't do this. Um, if you don't, um, it's amazing. And you'll probably feel it both in your knee and your hip. And relaxing. Let's just switch sides. So plant ground down. Drop that right foot. Bring the left foot up. And we'll do the other side, opening up that hip, opening up that knee. If it's not accessible to bring your foot all the way up to your knee, you can certainly grab that block and you can find your way midway. So maybe you've got um, a block, a book, a bag of, you know, a jar of pickles, whatever suits your fancy, whatever you've got. Um, you put that there or you can also have it just down on the floor. So this is um, just turning the leg out and allowing the knee to drop. This is um, like a uh, tree position, so a seated tree. So however you opened up your hips and your knees, we'll continue on. So let's find our way to the edge here. Let's go ahead into our warrior position. Are we ready for that, seated warrior? All right. Come on over. Let's 
Um, and there's multiple ways to do this. I'm a shimmy. I think I've said that before. Like I just kind of like to shimmy my, my way. So I just kind of wiggle my way over where I've got my right leg against the couch and then I send my left leg back. Um, you can certainly stand. So if you're like, all right, we're going to the right side, stand up, um, bend your knee, bend your right leg along the horizon. And as you bend, sit down and sit in. You'll figure out what works for you. Um, so you can stand up, sit down, or um, shimmy your way around. Like I said, I like to shimmy, so that's probably what I'll do on the other side. So my left leg is straight back behind me, or as extended as you can get. My right knee is bent. Sitting here for a minute, finding the positioning, because I don't have to worry about bearing all that weight. I'm going to inhale, opening up my shoulders, sending my arms out and my gaze goes out towards the front of my right arm. Strong warrior two position, open shoulders, open heart. Sit here, find your breath, go back to that intention. And we'll go into a peaceful warrior. So we do that by dropping the left hand down the left straight leg, flip the palm on the right hand, inhale and reach and extend. Send that hand up and over towards the left. That's what that looks like in your body. Wherever it feels good to feel it, you don't want to hurt. Don't go to pain. Find that nice stretch where it feels good for your body. And exhale, find your way back into that power position. That warrior two will come into an extension by... Uh, dropping our right hand down to our right knee. We're going to inhale and extend that left arm up and over towards the right. So now we're opening up that other side, reaching in the opposite direction. And just chill out here for a minute. Find your breath. Find that stretch. And then inhale. Let's just find our way back into that warrior two. Find that gaze. Relax those shoulders, reach that stretch. And then let's relax those hips, relax that knee, and then come into just a forward fold. So this is like a seated goddess. Both of my knees are bent. And I'm just going to ground down, really wide open position here. And then let's inhale, come on up. Inhale, bring those arms up. Hands come to kiss together. Let's bring those palms down through the center. Go into a gentle forward fold here. So just find your way down to your knees. Relax anything out. Drop the head, the neck. Maybe you find your way all the way down. Whatever feels good in your body. And then let's find our way over to the other side. So whatever that looks like for you, let's work our way back up to the middle here and over to the other side. So if you were a stand up, sit down, shift your side. <laughs> or if you were a shimmy, I'm going to shimmy. So shimmy on over. Coming on over to the left side. I'm going to move my water. Maybe I should have some of that. Stop any time and have water. So important. So I've got my left leg bent. I'm really open using this couch, stretching myself all the way out. My right leg is all the way straight, reaching, opening up those arms, coming into that warrior two position. Warrior two on the left side. Gaze is over my left arm. Let's come into that peaceful warrior. Drop the right hand down the right side. Flip the left palm. Inhale. Bring that arm up and over, and back, and whatever that looks like, wherever you're at, your gaze can be anywhere. Sometimes I'm up at my hand, sometimes I'm down at my straight leg. You know, explore how that feels. Where are you looking today? Come on back to that warrior to open those arms out. Find that gaze, and we'll come into that reverse. Drop that left arm down to our bent knee. Inhale, bring that right arm up and over. Reaching, stretching. Find 
finding that length in this stretch. And exhale, let's find our way back into that powerful warrior two. Opening up one more time here. Mm, pull those shoulders back. <laughs> and relax and release. Come on into that seated position. Let's give some love to those hips. Roll it out a little bit. Let's add a little cat cow in here. Plant those feet. We're going to exhale. Our exhale is our cat. So release all of the breath, bringing your chin down to your chest, rounding your back, holding into yourself. And then inhale. Take in all of that breath. Open up the chest. Looking up, gaze comes up. Exhale, relax and release. Shake it out if you want to. Add a little figure eight movement if that feels good in your spine. Inhale, inhaling up into that stretch. And let's grab our knees here. So grounding down. Shake it out a little bit. Find that centering position again. Let's find some movement in our legs. So I'm going to just start by kicking my right foot out. And then I'm going to grab that knee and add a little rotation. So whatever feels good for you. Maybe you've got your um, heel on the ground and you're just extending and pointing. Maybe that's enough movement for you. I really opened up my hips, so I really need to roll them out. Switching over to the other side, a little ankle roll. Have some fun with that knee and that hip. And then I'm going to grab it and come into my rotation. I know as a woman, I carry so much stress in my hips. Um, I'd be curious, dudes that do the yoga on this page, um, y'all carry stress in your hips? Um, or is it, it, I know like we all, regardless of gender, you know, hold the weight of the world on our shoulders. Like I get that, but where are you all with your stress hips? <laughs> Maybe somebody who's brave enough to answer that for me. All right, let's add a little bit of relaxation here. That was an awesome chair session, y'all. So those of you that want to end here, um, just find your way into whatever additional stretch you need. Um, really get comfortable in your space and just continue breathing. Allow your body to catch back up to you. There's so much activity now that we've really got our body moving. Um, Anyone that wants to continue on with me, we're going on to the mat. So um, if you want to continue second session, you can stay in your seat, do that. You can go into Sapasana and um, just tune everything out. Sit for as long as you can. Honor yourself. Drink some water. Everybody, water break. So wherever you're at, grab that water and we'll get ready to go on to the mat. something this computer wants me to do and I'm so reluctant to hit it because I don't want to lose you guys um okay well let's hope we're all good <laughs> I think we're good all right let's continue on so finding our way onto the mat or into your seat we're already warmed up so we'll do our sun salutations and then we'll go into warriors and do some um, additional lunges and those types of things. Which way do I want to face? I kind of like the view this way better. This way I get to see, I'm right up on the riverbed, so um, I get to see all the trees and the birds and airplanes flying by. I'm sure you're hearing that as well. All right, so ready for our sun salutation. 
inhaling it, darling. And <laughs> my daughter decided to come out the door. So if you see a little human, <laughs> uh, inhale, arms come up, reaching up, stretching, finding that length. Exhale, hinge at the hip. Bend those knees, find your way down. Find that block if you want it, if you need it. Halfway lift, let's find that length. And exhale, release and relax. We'll do that one more time and then we'll go right into planks and into the rest of our session here. Inhale, arms come up, reach up. Come on back to that intention. Find that forward fold. What is it that you want? What more do you want out of your practice today? Relax and release. Let go. Inhale, find your link. You bring it in this next week. Exhale, let it go. We're going right in, folks. Drop those hands. Come on into plank. Find your length, relax the shoulders back. Hang here for a second. On the exhale, come on down. Chaturanga, let's find the mat. Find your length, let it go. Shake it out, point those toes. Come on up into a cobra, everything's tight. Pull those shoulders back, find that length and your spine, inhale, exhale, come on down. Next time up, we'll go into a sphinx. So we're extending our hands out a little bit. We're coming up, up to the shoulders, up to the elbows, shoulders come back, inhale, point the toes. We're up to the level of our elbows here. Shoulders back, find length. Exhale, relax the neck to the opposite side that you released last time. Relax everything out. Shake it out. Let's go into upward dog. So now we're coming up all the way up. Arms are going to be fully straight. Pull those hands about halfway in between where they were. Inhale, come up. It's like a push-up kind of, but... Um, our legs are still on the ground. Inhale, find your length. Opening up your spine, your shoulders. Relax. We're going into downward dog now. So find your way up. Flip those toes, inhale up. Maybe your staff position first, hinge at the hips. That's what I did. <laughs> Go into your downward dog. Find your length, stretch it out. And let's walk those feet up to the hands. Mm, halfway lift, relax it out. And find your way back up to mountain pose. My back really wants to just roll up today. Normally, I'm a reverse swan, but feeling something different. That's the great thing about practice. You do what you want, what feels good in your body. Mountain pose, grounding down. Let's do our sun salutations again. Inhale, arms come up. Reach comes up. Extended mountain pose. Really reach, stretch here. Exhale, find your way into that forward fold, hinge at the hips, relax and release, let it go, halfway lift towards that length, relax on down, hands come to the mat, going into plank, take it back, plank it out, stretch it out, come on down. How are you going up into your downward dog? I'm adding a little sphinx here. 
and I'm gonna flip the toes, upward dog, and downward dog, flip the hips, work your way back, tip it up, find that stretch. And this time, let's go hands to feet. So take your hands, work them up to your feet. Last time we did feet to hands, or whatever you want. You find your way back up. Relax and release. Come on back up into that mountain pose. Ground it down. May I you see me? Okay. <laughs> and we'll flip it this way as we get ready for warriors. All right, roll out those ankles. Let's just take it right into warrior two position. So um, go warrior left first, because that's the way I decided to face, keeping my left leg bent along my mat. I'm going to send the right leg back. Step it out, warrior two. Arms come up. Y'all can't see. Let's move that up now that we're done no more. All right, warrior two, there we go. Now we can see those arms and the leg too. Looking for length, sending the gaze over the left hand. Following that same positioning we did last time in the chair, seated, we'll go into our peaceful warrior first. Drop the right hand down the right straight leg, flip the palm, inhale, bring it up and over. Opening up, gazes wherever feels good for you. Relax the shoulders. Inhale, come on back. Warrior two, send that gaze over the left hand. We'll go into a reverse, drop the left right on down. Don't drop the weight, just drop, you know, allow it to sit. And then inhale, reach up, find length. Exhale, find that stretch. Bending the right arm over to the left. And inhale, come on back, strong warrior two. Relax the shoulders. Let's just pivot the feet. Come over here, bend the knee. Both of them facing forward. Shake it out. Go into a little forward fold. And then we'll go to the other side. Just going to send that left leg back a little bit. Bend my right knee. Warrior two, right side. Sending my gaze over my right arm. Looking for length and stability. My positioning. Let's go into our peaceful. Drop the left hand. Flip the palm. Inhale. Reach it up. Find that stretch. And it's funny. The other side I was looking up. This side my gaze wants to be down. So you find what your body calls for. Come on back to that warrior two. And we'll come on down to that reverse. Dropping the right hand down. Hang out here for a sec. Inhale with left arm up and over. Reaching up. Find that length. Come on back to our warrior two position. Find your breath again. Relax it out. Open up, shake those hips. Give yourself a little love. <laughs> Let's do our tree. Last time I said I was going to show it with the kickstand. And I got my block this time. So let's show the props. Got the block, show the prop. All right, now we can see the mat again. Okay, so we're in our mountain pose, grounding down, finding that stability. So many ways to do tree pose. Um, 
you can, I like to bring my knee up first. So I'm grounding down with my left leg. First, I'm just going to bring my knee up, my right knee up. I'm on my toes. And then from here, we can lift. There's the prop. So if I want to kickstand, I'm going to bring my block and just put my foot onto that. So inhaling and then opening the hip up. So that allows me to stand here, ground down, open the hips without feeling like I'm going to fall over. So you can put your foot wherever you want, avoid the knee. So whether you're, wherever you're at in your tree pose, I just like to be nice and open. So I'm just going to hold my knee. And then exhale, bring the hip forward, bring the knee forward, relax, ground down on the other side. So I'll start that again with the block. So first I'm just going to ground down. Then I'm going to lift my knee up, find my block, and then open my hip. Nice open position. So wherever you're at. And then exhale, bring that knee. And lots of rotation today. So I'm going to take it where I need it. Drop that foot. Relax and release. Let's come on down to the mat. We don't just sit down. Let's find our way through the sun salutations, of course. <laughs> Inhale, arms come up. Reach up. A hinge at the hips. Relax and release. Drop those hands down to the mat. Go into your plank. Let's work out those, work out those hips and those knees a little bit more. Go into a low lunge. So let's bring our right knee forward. So right foot forward. Runner's lunge, low lunge. Work it out. Open them hips. Flip it and go to the other side. So just go back into plank. Look for that length. And then bring the left leg forward. Left foot forward. Open those hips. Rotate it out. Going back into a plank again. And drop it down. And add in whatever you want here. I'm going with the cobra. Point the toes. Reaching up. Maybe your sphinx. Find your length. Exhale, relax, and release. Let's go into our superman from the Malocus. So inhale, send the arms out in front of you. Finding length, pointing the toes, and exhale, relax, and release. Bring those hands to behind you. Now we're going to reach opposite direction. So inhale, reach back towards the feet, and exhale, release. Let's go into a tabletop. So pushing up onto all fours. Find your tabletop. Figure eight a couple times. Let's do a little cat cow. Chin to chest. Cat, exhale. Inhale, cow. Stretch it out. Exhale, relax and release. Inhale, finding that length. Go on back into child's pose. Sit on back. Take that pressure and weight off your shoulders for a minute. Stretch it out. Find that length. 
inhale come on up let's go up to our knees if that's comfortable for you inhale link binding link come back sit on back we'll do that um camel i think i showed that last week drop your hand plant your um right hand reach your left hand up really stretch it out reaching up here and then switching to the other side wrist can be either way on the ground inhale Reaching up, bending here, finding that length again. Exhale, come on back. We'll do our leg stretches. Come on in, let's do some, um, oh, I was almost in the pigeon. Let's find your way into like a supine um, uh, bound angle, just feet together. And find a forward fold here. Relax into your stretch. And then inhale. Find our grounding position. And send the left leg out. Bring the right leg into the left inner thigh. We'll go toward that straight leg first. I have my prop here, but um, grab whatever you need. Um, belt is great right here. Flip it over your foot, and then you can really reach and extend. Let's find our way towards the middle. I like to crisscross my hands. It just allows me to work it slowly. And then as we gently find our way over towards that right bent knee, you'll find that your hip on the left side needs to rotate up and just allow it to move with you. And then we can extend this and go into that pigeon, which I, you know I love. <laughs> rotate that hip on the left, send that foot all the way back. And then reach and find your length. I'm folding into my little, my right chicken leg. <laughs> and work your way back up. Flip that hip. Let's do a little Lord of the Fishes. So keeping that left leg out, bring that right leg up. Up and over. So bring your right foot up and over your left knee. We're going into a twist. So i am got my left elbow on my right knee. And I'm looking for length and stretch and opening up. Last couple good twists of the practice. Relax and release. We'll go one to the other side. And now we'll have our right leg out bringing that left leg to inner thigh. Go towards that straight right leg first. Find that stretch. It's also helpful to just walk your hands, use your fingertips, and just kind of gently walk yourself towards your foot. I found that really helpful as I was building into my flexibility. And then take those hands, but slowly crisscross them to find our way over to center. And then working our way down toward that bent, I like to call it a chicken leg. It looks like a little chicken wing to me. And then as I find my way down towards this bent left knee, I'm going to point my toe, then my right foot around and back and find that stretch reaching for that length pushing my way back up to center and then we'll do that last little stretch there going to that lord of the fishes 
bringing that left knee up and over and into whoops, wrong side <laughs> if i'm twisting that way um if my left knee is over my right leg then my right elbow comes over my left knee so twisting in opposite direction finding that length and then finding that stretch Come on back to our little bound angle. Let's be together. Sit on back, stretch on back. Where's that forward fold? I'm more like a half fold right now. Let's get all the way down on the back. Bring those knees together. We'll do that wind release. Bring in the knees up to the chest, adding a little bit of rotation if that feels good. Maybe you're just hugging your knees, relaxing into your space. Go ahead and drop those feet down. Add a little additional stretch here. Add some length with your arms. Extend that spine. Relax and release. We'll bring that right foot up to left knee. One more time, allowing that stretch between that hip and that knee. And if you want, you can extend this by bringing that left leg up and a side towards yourself. And relaxing and switching sides. Bring that left foot up to the right side, right thigh, knee area. Do your thing with whatever feels good in your hips. I'm bringing myself all the way in. That feels good to me. Relaxing and releasing. Let's go for that full body stretch. Send those legs all the way out. Send those arms all the way out. Take up all of that space. Add in any additional stretch that you feel like your body is calling you to do. If there is anything extra you need. I encourage you to go back to that intention. That thing that you wanted to get from your practice today. I hope you got it. If you're creating something or manifesting something, I sense some energy love your way. Spend a minute coming back to your breath. Sometimes I have my hands on my heart. Sometimes it's one on my heart. One on my belly. Settling back into our space. Giving yourself some credit. Some gratitude for showing up, making time for yourself. Carving out this time in your busy life. This being Father's Day, I just want to honor, honor all the fathers. Um, we're just so blessed. It's a definite balance between masculine and feminine. And um, I feel very blessed to have some wonderful male figures in my life. 
And if you're a woman and you're carrying the burden of both jobs, um, man, I honor that. That is a tough, tough role. I do have a tough cookie for a mom who had to play both roles. And so I watched how hard that can be. So thank you. Thank you for stepping up. Thank you to all the men that stepped up that didn't have to. I honor those positions too. And y'all are ready. Bring a little bit of movement back into your body. Add an extra little stretch. Thank you for showing up for yourself. Thank you for being part of this. We'll see y'all next week. Let me know what you liked. What stretch did you enjoy? Do you have any questions? I'm trying to get to any questions and include them in. So if you have something extra that I didn't touch on, just send me a message. All right. Have a great day, friends.